So my dream is everyone to be happy. No, got happy, working together, living together, kids going to school, having a healthy life. That's the most important thing for these communities to try and target all those things. Thank you. What is it? Can you get me under the arangain? No. Hello, I'm not a candidate. What a museum got a candidate to come. Energy, Munda Kunda Kino Warango, camera, a story. Nanti nak kini mana? Dah community yang allah bung, wadai jin. Ya kado kaji ni mi, muri ni mi ya. Kami si emkarim pang kado kado tiri, apa nama kami? Nanti pitja mondak mondak, nanti piri ya, nanti mondak mondak. I kado apa nama? Marang atau numat no kanorong kau, kami si emkarim kado kado tiri, kaji apa nama kami? Makrokom, makninal, joren, beni meni narar ini mana? Ada misi dia. Ia murid story saya ni aman murid tu ni pernah muntah muntah call dia. Pangon nuna menurut dia ni jadi painting pernah. Jadi orang ni jemah malu kan jadi pernah nampak tak nampak tu ruh pangon dia ada misi marang atau numat ni. Dagar yang pangon tu open orang right now kan jadi dem kau korang. Dagar ni dah misi, emgar ni dah mungkin nak ada misi, emgar emgar ni dah pergi kadang kadang main nak gal dah pergi gal lagi ama baik. Kupi memang mai, kupi mem Mena mai itu pun, ibu mama memaraka, wakai dengan orang ni, mereka kanyi garim kanyi garing emgeren, kanyi tu girang garing baj garim kanyi, i pangong gara club pun tak dah, kubangan ada kumpar ni. Nanti wala pangor ni, mana jeng gara kanggo lekking i, mana gunor mulok lekking i, mana i dah bubang garu no aj pering, mana gimal main gara duri ni dah tinggi, mana gara ni main garu tanam gimal gayu. Kalau wala je, bu mana baj tinggi, mana dah kanyi gara kah, tetamu dah kanyi no mangan tu, mana garu mara kanyi wala yu. Mudah nubang kan, nunggar kangkul dan kuning me, mudah kangkul dan kuning me, ramai dan kuning me, i kau dan kuning me. Nanti ni 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 nanti ni nanti misi, nanti ngalah. So nubang kan, nubang kan, nanti berama macam nanti tangan nanti mana ni nak nubang kan, tangan ni jauh, dah nubang kan dah mana ada lo. Tarung kau ada punar lo dah, dah ngara rut nanti. Dah dah, kau ngaku malang ya, dah putih ngara ni ni ya. Kalau orang itu pandan itu, maka tu kain bol pada mana tu? Ia tanah duri, negara duri, negara duri yang ramai sih, nanti nanti dangkar duri tu. Kalau welcome nama dia birim dah gayu, dah misi em garim ganjil, misi em galah bawang garak club pun tak piran. In 1934, the missionaries were asked to make a mission in this area to try and halt the drift away from the bush to the settled areas. They approached the missionaries. Bishop Mazel wasn't too sure. Keep the story down. Father Dockery got four men Majindi, Angalichi, Nunima from Fossilhead, and this bloke Mullen, Mullen, Jackie Mullen, is from Old Mission. So they're the four blokes came with Dockery in 1934 to scout around, pick the site for the mission. It was, it was actually Mullen who picked the site at Old Mission because they couldn't find a suitable place to start off. Anyway, this is back after that. Brother Quinn in the middle, real ancient man. Perjet, that's one of us as father. And Dollar, um, father of Lennon Dollar and, and the others. And over here, just the next one along, this is our very first school. Big bath house at Old Mission. No matter how old you were or how young, well, not the real babies, but when you got up a bit like this fella, everybody had to go to school. Part of the day. My number one priority is the digital storage of all the history and culture that we've got, uh, and, and a copy out of the building. That we've got so many original photos, diaries going back to 1949. Photos are older than that, some of them. Smoke detector, unfinished job, alarm system's dead, and so far we haven't managed to get an electrician to stay around to, to put it, install it. What would you like to see, you know, because your time at the museum no doubt will come to an end one day. What's, I guess, your dream before it does? Uh, we'd want to get a proper building, a, a safe place, because this building here made in the mid-60s. Uh, the, the roof is not very secure. Mm. A good cyclone will blow it off. Uh, it's out the back, the timber beams. But this building is very important to the old people, because leprosy came into the area 
after the start of the mission, but before the Second World War. And at the height of it, after the people had been cured and came back, there were 94 people had their fingers or toes dressed daily in this building. We got thousands of photos, never mm. scanned. Many more thousands have been scanned, sitting on DVDs. Mm. No story to put them, never been on a computer. Yeah. So, did you Jordan's see the, got a job. Did you see the album? The album's no, not yet. No. no, you can take me in and show me those, yeah. Jordan. Yeah. Right. So he's got an easy job. Let's yeah. go have a look. Yeah, yeah let's go have a look. Yeah, there's, there's just piles and piles and piles and what we're gonna do is get get copies of everything and send it off send it off site so it's safe in case something happens here. And that's what really why we wanna get um we wanna get a new new site for the museum. Because this this is the site for the, of the old clinic built in the sixties. So um slowly the the place is sort of not falling down, but it's not ideal for such important artefacts, you know. Mm. So, um, what we want to do in the sort of long term long term plan is to get a new a new site for the for the museum. We want to have it somewhere in the centre of town where it's accessible to people, because there's no point having a museum that's in the corner of town, all locked away, like, and no nobody ever that comes in here, you know. So what, what's the point of preserving family history and culture if the, the guys that are alive today can't come and have a look and see, oh, that's my grandfather, that's my great-great-grandmother, and then pass those stories on to their kids. Yeah? What's the point of it being here if we're not going to use it properly? Hmm. So the, the idea with, with the um, digitisation project is to get everything Onto, a, onto hard drives, onto, onto computers, so that they're, they're safe. And then we can, with the project that's going on at the old club, we can, we can showcase all of those old videos. And there's a, there's a big screen there, there's seating area, so people can come and sit down and talk to their family, talk to their kids, and they can, they can start that conversation again about family history and culture, and just to sort of reconnect people with, with their, their own story. Well, show me this box down here. That looks like an interesting oh. box of goodies down there. Oh, it's just as we've been walking around with the old people here and there, collecting up. Uh, some places people tell us they bring stone spears into us. But this is the best one from down the Fitzmaurice country. It's a beautiful, uh, I should pull it out. Uh, Buy facial. Spear point, I'll break this packet and get a new packet. This is our most valuable point. Uh, bifacial Kimberley point from down the Fitzmaurice country. Bifacial means it's work, been worked on two sides, but it was at a really special um, cultural site. When Father Leary came to the old church in the late 1950s, he said, this old church, which is across the road, like a tin shed, you old bloke, you fella, man, can you do something to, to brighten that up? So they made a wall and they put these masonite um, panels up. This was where the tabernacle was, behind the altar. Father Larry let, let the men go. I can't remember all of them, but Butler, Charlie Brinkin, Inge's Alma, Charlie Madigan. Probably Simon Mungley. But they all contributed to this big one. And the story I've got bits and pieces recorded, but Father Leary said to Bunner, doesn't look very religious to me, Father Leary uh, said. And Bunner said, Yes, Father, it's, it's water holes and living water. So, uh, and then he went on to talk about other things. And Father Leary got a shock. He didn't realise how much of the Bible stories that these old blokes understood. But before that, this little stand here was for the, uh, for the readings in the church, for the books, the lectern. This was the very first Aboriginal art done for the old Port Pierce church. And I believe it was done by Simon Nungwe. The community is not going to be able to do it. 
Thank you for watching Water TV.